Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome to today's video in which we will be talking about a guy, a, bl a blue-pilled guy, uh, who talks about Think Before You Sleep, and if you don't know who Think Before You Sleep is, he is one of the most famous red pill channels on the internet. He has over 600,000 views, and I recommend you check his channel if you, if you like what he makes. With that being said, guys, let's get started. I will hide my character so you can see the person. And let's see what he has to say. I haven't seen this guy. He's apparently involuntarily celibate, okay? And um, a man going in his... Okay, so 30 seconds into the video and you're already insulting him by calling him an cell just because he doesn't want to deal with woman. Because he has made a decision that he doesn't want to date and he wants to go his own way. And of course, that means he's an cell really sets the mood for the clown video we're about to witness. ...his own direction, uh, which are both admirable things. I mean, stay strong, brother. <clears throat> um, I'm quite the opposite. Um, so I would love to see what he has to say about this. So this is called How to Get a Man to, to Divorce You. And I watched about 50 seconds of this. It it annoyed me quickly, so I thought I should join. You should join me with this, so <laughs> you'll get it. I'm a little pissy. I get this text from my father-in-law. My father-in-law, not my husband. My father-in-law. I get this. It says, "When you get home tonight, I need for you to clean off all the kitchen counters, put the tools in the utility room, put the trash on the front porch, and sweep and vacuum all the hard surface floors." That would help Jake and I, not me, but someone else. <laughs> that would help. That would help Jake. Yeah, guys. Imagine having to help someone else. Ew, disgusting. Imagine doing something for someone else and not for yourself. Embarrassing. Jake and I for tomorrow. Thank you very much in advance. You're the best. Mind you, I did not build this house. My husband and my father-in-law built it. Mainly my husband. I am very grateful for that. Gee, it sure doesn't sound like you're grateful. You just... <laughs> he has the same voice as that, uh... That guy that thinks Trump is gonna save the world. Um, and he, he's in that bullet cult. He sounds like that guy. Again, you get to make fun of him and mock him for something he cannot really change or control, which is his voice. Um... It really shows how mature you are when you make fun of someone because of something you cannot control. Guy, yeah, what is his what is his name? Oh, do you guys know his name? Peter, 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 Peter. He sounds like Peter. Just said you were mad. For those of you who didn't read the text that she posted, her father-in-law sent a message asking her to clean up a mess that was created while building the house that she lives in. By the way, it wasn't like he said, "Woman, clean up this mess now." It was, here's what needs to be done. Thank you very much. You're the best. Actions speak louder than words, and someone who was grateful would not have a meltdown from being asked to clean. A grateful person what? would either clean up the mess, send a text back explaining why she can't do it, <laughs> or negotiate for a lesser responsibility. <laughs> this is such a weird thing. Why is it on her not to be upset by that? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? I also love calling it a meltdown. That she's just sharing her experience with but us. But this is what I come home to. Yeah, she's just sharing her experience with us. You mean posting videos on TikTok crapping all over her husband because he asked her to help? You know, and making fun of him in front of millions of people? Is that what sharing your experience is? Sharing your experience is going with your best friend to a coffee and, and sharing how you felt about it, but not going on the internet to share your relationship problems after working an entire shift on my feet all day that I now have to clean even though I did not make this mess. Look at it. I now have to pick up Fuck everything that. off the floor. Fuck that. All of it. Take a shit in the middle of the floor. Right? Yeah, right. So, if you had to do this, what you will do is scrap in the center of the room. And then shit off the side of it. I think that's what I'd do. Might pee in this thing. I have to clean this entire island, put all of their tools away, clean the it's entire, all ladies. this, everything off the floor. I have to get all of this. This is sawdust. 
because they decided to cut things inside my house. They what the fuck? Notice inside my house. <laughs> so it is your house when you get to live in it, you know, for free basically. But it's not your house when you have to help. Good to know. And I have to get this all done tonight before my husband gets home so I can spend time with him. No! That's unreasonable. That's so fucking unreasonable. Yeah, guys, that is unreasonable. It's, it's just unreasonable. It's beyond comprehension. It's astonishing. Mind-boggling. It's a direct hit towards human rights. It's outrageous to spend an hour, max an hour and a half, cleaning after your husband and your father-in-law have spent probably three times more that very same day working on the house you live in. <laughs> like, she's not <laughs> cleaning up your damn self. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand that. Look, my dad was was a was not my my favorite individual in my life, but not even his. Okay, we're gonna skip this. Uh, he talks about how he had a bad relationship with his father. Showcasing maybe the reason why he grew to have such a bad understanding about relationships. Big deal. That looks like one to two hours of work that you can do while listening to a podcast. Then you do it. Listen to a podcast. Listen to How to Be Not a Shitty Guy, the podcast, and then clean your own mess. It's not the end of the It's fine to ask for help, but like, this is not what asking for help is world if if they here how about this she just got off work but even if she just got off work what if the message was just like um hey i know you worked all day but so do we and and uh if you're up for it we would love your help when you get home with cleaning up help um if so basically apparently the message her father-in-law sent her was not kind enough even though he said you're the best and thank you in advance, the message needed a little more softness, a little more of a cry for help. I mean, you're family. If I have to ask a stranger for a favor, I'd be more polite because he doesn't owe me anything. But if I, if I have to ask my father for a favor, I'm not going to write him a damn postcard saying, Dearest father, I beg your attention for I've been daring to ask you if you could be so understanding and benevolent as to lend me some help, blah blah. Man, they are family. That message was kind enough. What else do you want? Do you want them to beg on their knees for your highness to help a little? If she was truly grateful and loved her husband, she would clean, even without him asking, just to be helpful. If not, no big deal. Uh, we'll get to it, but it'll just get f done faster or whatever, like if you can spare some time. Like, just, 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 like, just ask. Just ask? Because even if my, like, like if I busted my ass all day long and this has happened and sarah was like hey can you do this for me i may groan if i'm if i'm tired i may go like ah but i'll you know yes i will help you almost all the time it depends on what it is but like i, I i'm trying to think of a, of a thing where i just be like no i'm not fucking doing that unless it was like maybe i'm in pain but even then usually i, I feel like we negotiate it out pretty quickly and she's just like okay cool well, well maybe tomorrow or or okay help me I don't know, like, the conversation's really easy. Why, do you, and then to use your, your fucking, like, your dad, her, her, uh, uh, married and dad for this, like, her father-in-law is the word I was trying to think. Actually, I can only think stepfather. It's because of the, it's because the algorithm chat. So, you just made the argument that they should negotiate. Isn't that exactly what Think Before You Sleep said less than a minute ago? That if the work is too much, she can do a little and then do the rest when her husband gets back or tell him why she's not able to do it. I mean, do you even listen to the points he is making? Or all your brain limits to is insulting and whining? Yeah. And I'm sure that if you didn't finish by the time he got home, your husband would still be happy with the work that you did complete. I have some questions, though. How okay. long was... I'm going to skip this segment. It's basically think before you sleep, taking a guess. Uh, how many hours... Uh, this woman works. And let me tell you, I do understand that she's feeling tired. 
I've been working two jobs since I was 17, whether that be an eight hour shift and then a four hour shift, whether that be university and a four hour shift. I mean, right now I'm working a nine hour shift and then I come home to making videos for the channel. It's not easy. A lot of the times you're tired, you just want to rest. But personally, I'm motivated to see this channel grow. People that write good comments cheer me up and make me feel happy about what I'm doing. I'm grateful that I get to work extra hours because I hope this channel can be entertaining or helpful to other people. If this woman was truly grateful for living in a house her husband built, she wouldn't be whining like a little kid on TikTok telling how much of an a-hole her husband is or asking her to help from time to time. And guess what? Her husband also has a job. So him spending his time, resources and efforts in building a house is reasonable. A father-in-law spending his time and efforts in building a house he will not live in is also reasonable. But her having to clean up for an hour, which is literally the easiest part of the job, highly off limits. Later with this video. Oh, it's a whole saga. Please give us an update. Okay, so this is an update TikTok. I really like that shirt. So last night I did not clean the house, you guys. Really opened my eyes and made me see that like this was not my problem. It's not my thing. It's not my problem. So the house is not your problem when you have to work on it, but it is your house when you get to live there rent free. Great. There's so much. Um, I bitched my husband last night and told him that I was really pissed off. To all the women watching, listen to what she said. I bitched to my husband when he got home. Mm -hmm. If there is one thing that men hate, it's doing a bunch of work and then getting yelled at by their wife over some nonsense the minute they get home. <laughs> okay, this guy doesn't have a wife. He doesn't know. I mean, it's true, by the way. I mean, it's not only men, just nobody wants to, you know, to come home tired from work and, and, and his partner to be bitching about something stupid. Oh, what it's like to work all day and come home to a woman? Like, why is he pretending? He doesn't know. He's only seen like movies where 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 fuckable men enjoy the pleasures of getting uh, what he would call nagged, and they're they're nagging, they're nagging. In my experience, and look, I don't, I haven't been married to a uh, woman in the 1940s, um, but I have been long term partners with women in uh, my 20s and 30s, and. Anytime I had been gone or working really hard and then come home and had and someone was complaining to me, I got to be honest, it was it was a valid reason they had something going on in their life and they had a complaint. And maybe it wasn't the most constructive way to go about it. I don't like that she was bitching necessarily, but it seems like they don't have great communication. So, not surprised if that's what's happening. Like, but just because she was bitching doesn't mean that he wasn't an asshole. Like what the fuck? I want to do a thing called beef court chat. I just want to solve people's beef. Two people that have beef or more and, and just listen to their arguments and like Judge Judy except only I win. Beef court. That's relationship ending material and it's certainly not the same respect that she was given. Her father-in-law said please and thank you while she thought it was appropriate to air out her personal drama to a bunch of strangers on TikTok to make her husband look bad. What's this? Why why is it personal laundry? Does he watch videos on TikTok of men talking about their their wives? <sighs> like <laughs> Of course, I'm sure he's fine with all the guys with the upright cameras and their sunglasses and their hats in their trucks in a parking lot making a video. I I bet he is one of those guys. And so for every guy whining about his wife on TikTok, there has to be at least 100 women doing the same thing. But yeah, man, uh, let's just pretend we're blind, okay? Well, I get home today, and this is what I come home to. A fully cleaned house. Hell yeah. They have a little bit of stuff right here, but that's fine. That's it. They organized all their tools, mm -hmm. and I didn't have to do a single thing. Good, because it wasn't your job to. Here we have the same argument. It's not your job. 
It's your job, however, to enjoy that house, live rent-free, and get a big-ass modern house for free. But it's not your job to help. And look at this house, man. It's like we have a really, really big uh, living room. Uh, there is the kitchen, which appears to be modern. Like, this is a great house. And there are many women that will really like to, you know, to get a house for free instead of, you know, whining that they have to help from time to time. Either they got the message that that was super disrespectful. Because it was. Um, or they think I'm completely super incompetent and they won't <laughs> ever ask me to do anything again. Don't say that's a W though, because that can be toxic. Either way, win for me. Uh, it is a win. Uh, I would say, I would say though, that that is a thing that dudes do sometimes, is to pretend to be incompetent so they don't have to do things around the house. Yeah, so here this guy actually surprised me for a little because it took him 12 minutes of non-stop talking crap to eventually land a good argument. And that is that you should not pretend to be incompetent so you don't get asked for favors. So credit where credit is due, he said something good. Of course, immediately he turned the blame from the woman to the guys because he's a simp and he can't stand to say something bad about a woman even when she is to blame. And we have this comment on the left, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Just a second. Has. Um, but I could understand the emotional sentiment here of being like, fuck you then. You know what I mean? So, I get it, but don't do that. Don't. Why are they cutting things in the room? In all caps. Does outdoors not exist? Uh, well, Namretic. It, it, it appears to me that you've never worked in construction. Uh, when you work, right, sometimes uh, you, you, you save a lot of hours by doing something inside of the house instead of having to take everything outside and having to, you know, go from inside to outside like 20 times. So sometimes it's better to just do the dirty war work inside the house and then have to clean for half an hour than be spending all your day traveling from one place to another and... You know, maybe they needed to get to know the size of, them, of something. They needed to measure sh some things, you know. The, 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 <laughs> the chat on the left is uh, extremely clownful. Don't pretend to be incompetent, guys. Your partners need you to be competent. <laughs> Bruh, I have no idea who you are, but you picked the wrong girl. I have a lot of trouble believing that this is the first time she's ever behaved like this. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> behaved like this <laughs> been like hey I want you to do something and she said no I can't believe she's behaving like this She, the audacity to say no wow so you bear some of the responsibility for not kicking her to the curb before marrying her the fact that she was happy to not have to do work after being labeled incompetent is a massive red flag because either you do have someone who is incompetent and not a good relationship partner for running the household. That's fascinating. I don't. I never thought cleaning skills was something that I needed in a partner. We, you can, you can. What? I feel like you can, you can foster a, a pretty decent living situation with anybody with communication. I mean, it's not hard. You just had to break down the- We're gonna skip a little this, so just so we move faster with the video because it's really long. We're not gonna cover all of it, of course. Let's continue. Chrysalis butterfly looks like, but I assume it's awesome. Or you have someone who is unwilling to do her share of the work, which is arguably worse than being incompetent. With that said, I guarantee you that the husband did not see the error of his ways considering how rudely she responded. How do you know it was rude? She said that she bitched, but it doesn't mean that she did. Like, she just said, I bitched. It doesn't mean that, like, they didn't have a conversation at all. She could have just been saying that colloquially. I'm like, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, guys. Apparently now bitching is something nice. It's not bad. It's every person's dream to come home tired from work and have his partner whine to him for an hour and ruin his day. But of course, you have to defend the woman even though she is wrong because you are a white knight and an SJW. Bitching at people is not an effective way to change their opinion. Good conversations have give and take. Maybe it's crunch time and her husband is trying crunch to have time. her lighten the workload a bit so their house isn't under construction for three years. Uh, if, if she doesn't clean the house, 
this day, this construction thing will take three years. Wow. Maybe what her husband asked was a little unreasonable, so she says, hey, you know what, this looks like a lot of work, but I'll do what I can, and then maybe when you get home, we can work on it together. I like how it always ends up with her doing what she can because it's somehow her responsibility. She gets to say no. That sentence I just said versus what she actually... If she gets to say no and do whatever she pleases, then she's not your woman. Just kick her out of the house the very same night and that's it. Why should any man have to put with this entitled behavior of I am a queen and I get to have all the benefits while giving nothing in return? If you're not going to give anything in return, then you are not marriage material. What said is the difference between a happy marriage and a divorce. I actually think... I think it's, like, it's probably the difference between the appearance of a happy marriage and a happy marriage. Speaking of, I'm sure this next thing was obvious. This is the update. Um, it's not a good one. It's not a fun one. It actually really sucks. Um, but I'm going to keep it short and sweet. We had a long conversation a couple days ago, my husband and I, and we've come to the conclusion that the best thing for both of us is for this to end. Probably a good thing. So we are getting a divorce. Um, we've been separated for the past couple days, obviously. We just have to put the legal actions into motion. But yes, we are getting a divorce. There are no bad divorces. Only good ones. Divorces are good. <laughs> okay, guys, we will end it right here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, divorces are, are good, especially for the men. Especially for the children, if there are any. I recommend you all to get a divorce ASAP in life. And we can see the comments on the left uh, saying good for you, queen. This chat is crawling with clowns. My take on it is, good for the man. Dump your wife's butt and get a woman that will actually appreciate you and not waste your time, and who will not be a thorn in the flesh. But guys, just one, th one last thing from this guy. Maybe, check this out. Maybe we shouldn't treat marriage as, as, as sort of a shelter for the relationship. The relationship should not be able to be saved by marriage. Yes, I agree with you. A relationship should not be saved by marriage. A marriage should not be saved by having a kid. So, great, you said a second thing. I agree with you. Now guys, I only covered half the video as you can see. He continues speaking bullcrap all throughout. And even though there are some things worth taking a look at, I'm already bleeding through my nose because of all the crap I just witnessed and I don't want to do the same to you. So we will end the video right here. Now, to the guy covering this video thing before you sleep, the reason why I don't respect your opinion is not because I disagree with you, but because you didn't give me a chance to respect it. You landed two things right, which I agreed with, and all the rest was you just mocking thing before you sleep, being disrespectful, laughing ironically at everything he said, even though he said many things you agreed with, and talking absolute stupidity that didn't make a lick of sense. This is why your chat was filled with toxicity, because you yourself were nothing else but toxic. And the few people I've seen responding to Think Before You Sleep or similar channels are all like this. You know, for acting like you're the voice of wisdom, like you are some superhero left-wing social justice philosophers, you sound a whole lot like little grumpy toddlers that point fingers and call names. You may not agree with Think Before You Sleep, but you will never find him insulting other people for no apparent reason. He is always calm and collected. He always backs his arguments with facts or reason, instead of saying, uh, you're a nice or stupid loser and that's why I'm right. If all of you had half the decency Think Before You Sleep does, there could be a valuable argument between both sides. So, on one side, you have Chad red pilled content creator that debates about society's problems regarding men, through facts and logic, and on the other you have virgin crybabies whose strongest argument is to call you an ISIL. Pick who you respect more. <laughs>